Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Am I in the same outfit as last time? Yes I am. This is what Line of Duty does to me. I can't not watch. Like, I, I, if I could I'd just binge the whole lot today. Like I would. It's a bank holiday Monday and I would just binge it. But I've got things to do. And people to see. I haven't got people to see, that's a lie. But I need to edit my other videos. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I hope you're all still stay staying safe and just just still doing okay. I hope you're doing okay. And if you're not, then reach out to me and I'll try and have a natter with you. Um, and if you're not genuinely not doing okay, okay, please speak to someone. It's really important that you speak to someone because it's okay how you feel. Um, if you are new here, my name is Marie Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. She had a cut which if you watched my last episode reaction i was i'm surprised i didn't start crying i felt i felt like i could have started crying i was just absolutely flabbergasted that poor woman poor woman and she's got a bubba i think she's got i want to say she's got two because she was then pregnant in the last series wasn't she savage awful 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 right Let's crack on. Deputy Chief Constable Wise knows my feelings on this subject. For too long, the extent of police corruption has been covered up for fear of losing public trust. I really like the carpet. Yeah, absolutely, and that is why my department, AC12, were determined to get to the bottom of it. We're the best in the business. Oh, bloody hell. My senior legal counsel, Jill Bigelow, you don't mind if she uh, sits in? No. I'm making this audio file via a miniature recording device. My plan is to carry out undercover surveillance on the OCG. I let AC12 down. I betrayed Superintendent Hastings' trust. This is how I'm going to make up for it. Oh my god. Has Ted lodged an appeal and we were just trying to. Yeah, rescinded. I shall talk to DCC Wise and remind her that. Manit Binder was still serving as a 12 officer at the time of her murder. She died on the line of duty. Does that mean her family would get some compensation? Standardised things. DCI Mark Moffat. Oh. Well, retired DCI. Sorry to ambush you like this. You're not meeting under fire. Oh yeah, Rose Huntley's Hydra. Uh, listen, mate, it's been a long day. Yeah, let, let me just spit it out and then you can tell me to sling me up. Since retiring, I've joined the maid's property development business, and one of our new projects is in the Republic of Ireland, the Kettlebell Complex. Packed with the OCG, there's a phone box in Moss Heath on the corner of Tate's Avenue. They put a business card in there that looks like it's for sexual services. The number keeps changing, but the name's always the same, Nikki Nine. You go through a series of set phrases. You start with, got a tip for you, like you're talking to a gambler. Then you quote the odds as 100 to 30. No matter what they say back, you stick with those odds. Maybe I should try again tomorrow. It's all good. Keep going. How is... Is that a fake police officer? This way. She's going to recognise her. Hello, Jay. I'm Alice. I need to start by asking you a few questions, if that's all right. Who 
that he's telling them about this information? Because who did they contact? You know, when that guard, that police officer was outside the house, who's approved her to go in? John thought Pertree was showing signs of mission drift. I agreed with him. Drift in hell. Our brief was to identify high-level links between organised crime and corrupt police officers. John planned to climb up through the ranks of the OCG. He's a bright bloke, a natural leader. He reckoned that was the only way of making contact with high social and corrupt officers. And then Powell vetoed the plan. That's when John threw his toys and we lost contact. Who? It's just a code name. Didn't even think it was real. H? Thanks, Inspector. So Corbett is going after H. He's speaking to H, maybe? to the top man. I, I don't know yet. Contacts via a computer link. Everything I've said that goes on the street, and I'll prove it. But that depends if you've got the guts to listen. Or he's just another lap dog for Aston's and the rest of them. What oh, motherfucker is going on? I mean, how did Hastings know to... Oh, I don't know, I don't know. He's, they're planting him. Do anything necessary. He's gonna shoot her. Well done. You crossed on us. So she's given information. Uh, she's taking bribes or something. Again, he must have placed the item there without the knowledge. In 2015, were you engaged in an extramarital affair you were determined to keep secret? Yes, Simon, this line of questioning is irrelevant and oppressive. Were you contacted by a representative of an organised crime group in connection with your extramarital affair? Jane, we don't have sense. Sergeant, assist with our inquiry and it will be taken into account. Do you even have photos? Photos of you and your lover? 
CCTV from the pub car park. God knows how they got them, but they were going to show my husband. The person who first recruited you, the one who brought you into this network of corrupt officers assisting organised crime, was it this woman you've just described? Or this man, Lee Banks? Neither. The police officer? I think so. Stay here. D.I. Fleming is temporarily leaving the room. So because she's DI, Hastings doesn't have to be in the room anymore. For the DIR, I'm showing Pierce Cafferty a series of images. I'm doing so in the full knowledge that any photo ID would not be evidential at this stage. DSR not agreed. Agreed. Pierce Cafferty, do you see the person who recruited you? Can't keep up with all of this. It can't be Hastings, man. Like, I don't understand how he would have gotten away with it for that long. Oh my god. I don't want it to be Hastings. <sighs> Line of Duty, it's got to, this has got to be one of the best shows ever written. It's got to be. I'm so sorry. Please don't be Hastings. And I want Steve to tell Kate that he's dealing with Corbett. It's always like episodes three, two, three, four that I find a little bit stressful because episodes five and six, things are coming to a close, but these ones, everything's up in the air and it's all just too much for me. And I just want to binge it. I can't. Oh, and you all know what happens, and I don't. I reckon I'll have series five done by the time, because it's Monday today. If I finish series five this week, then I'm nearly up to speed with series six. I can get caught up with series six. And then I don't have to worry about spoilers anymore. That is my mission to catch up right thank you for joining me and i will see you very very soon